Imagine standing at the edge of a volcano. The ground beneath you trembles with the raw power of the earth, and the air is thick with anticipation. You feel the intense heat radiating from the molten rock below, a searing reminder of the planet's inner turmoil. The air smells of sulfur, a pungent scent that stings your nostrils and clings to your clothes. Now picture two drops of that glowing lava, escaping the fiery abyss and landing on your arm. What happens next? The thought alone sends shivers down your spine. The human mind, wired for survival, recoils at the thought. Our instincts scream danger, urging us to flee. We instinctively understand the destructive power of intense heat. It's a primal fear, embedded deep within our consciousness. But what exactly would those molten drops do to our bodies? The mere idea is both horrifying and fascinating. The answer lies in a fascinating interplay of physics, chemistry, and human biology. Each element contributing to a complex and deadly reaction. Let's delve into the science behind this terrifying yet intriguing hypothetical scenario. Understanding the mechanisms at play can help us appreciate the delicate balance of life. By understanding the nature of lava and its effects on human tissue, we gain a deeper appreciation for the delicate balance of life in a universe full of wonders and dangers. This knowledge not only satisfies our curiosity but also underscores the importance of respecting the raw power of nature. Lava, the lifeblood of our planet, is a force of nature both mesmerizing and terrifying. Molten rock, heated to extreme temperatures within the Earth's mantle, erupts onto the surface as lava. Its temperature can reach a staggering 2,100 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to melt many metals. This molten rock isn't just hot, it's a complex mixture of minerals and dissolved gases. Its composition varies depending on the volcano and its location. The viscosity of lava, whether it flows like syrup or oozes like tar, also depends on its mineral content. These factors, temperature, composition, and viscosity, play a crucial role in determining the severity of lava's impact on human tissue. But one thing remains constant, encountering lava is a dangerous proposition. The instant those two drops of lava touch your skin, the extreme heat becomes immediately apparent. Your body's nerve endings, designed to detect temperature changes, send urgent signals to your brain. You experience intense, searing pain. The high temperature of the lava causes immediate cell death in the affected area. The water in your skin cells rapidly heats up and vaporizes, creating steam. This rapid expansion of steam contributes to the severity of the burn. The extent of the damage depends on the size of the lava drops, the duration of contact, and the location on the body. Thinner skin, like that on your eyelids or behind your ears, is more susceptible to severe burns. To understand the severity of a lava burn, we need to delve into the science of heat transfer. Lava, with its molten rock composition, can reach temperatures of up to 1,200 degrees Celsius, or about 2,200 degrees Fahrenheit. This extreme heat is what makes lava so incredibly destructive. Heat always flows from a hotter object to a cooler one. This fundamental principle of thermodynamics is crucial in understanding how lava interacts with its surroundings. In this case, the extreme heat from the lava rapidly transfers to your much cooler skin. This transfer happens almost instantaneously, causing immediate and severe damage. This heat transfer occurs through three primary mechanisms, conduction, convection, and radiation. Each of these mechanisms plays a role in the overall destructive power of lava. Conduction is the transfer of heat through direct contact, like touching a hot stove. When your skin comes into direct contact with lava, the heat is conducted instantly, causing severe burns. Convection involves heat transfer through the movement of fluids, such as the air heated by the lava. The hot air rising from the lava can cause burns even without direct contact. Radiation is the transfer of heat through electromagnetic waves, like the warmth we feel from the sun. Lava radiates intense heat, which can be felt from a distance, adding to its destructive potential. All three mechanisms contribute to the rapid and intense heating of your skin upon contact with lava. The combination of conduction, convection, and radiation makes lava burns particularly severe and damaging. The result is a severe burn that can cause significant damage to multiple layers of tissue. These burns are not only painful, but can also lead to long-term complications and require extensive medical treatment. Section 5. A Dance of Elements, Chemical Reactions on Your Skin Beyond the immediate effects of heat, 
Lava also triggers chemical reactions upon contact with your skin. Remember, lava isn't just molten rock, it's a cocktail of elements, each with its own chemical properties. These elements can react with the water and organic molecules in your skin, leading to further tissue damage. For example, sulfur, a common component of lava, can react with water to form sulfuric acid, a highly corrosive substance. These chemical reactions can exacerbate the burn and complicate the healing process. The body's natural defense mechanisms struggle to cope with the complex interplay of heat and chemical damage. Section 6. Pain's Message – Your Body's Alarm System The excruciating pain you experience from a lava burn is not arbitrary, it's your body's way of signaling danger. Specialized nerve endings called nociceptors are activated by intense stimuli like heat, pressure, or chemical irritants. When activated, nociceptors send electrical signals along nerve fibers to your spinal cord and then to your brain. Your brain interprets these signals as pain, prompting you to withdraw from the source of the pain and seek safety. Pain is an unpleasant but essential survival mechanism. It warns us of potential harm, motivates us to avoid dangerous situations, and protects us from further injury. Section 7. First Response. What to do after a lava encounter. In the unlikely event that you find yourself in contact with lava, immediate action is crucial to minimize damage. First and foremost, remove yourself from the source of heat and any potential dangers. Cool the affected area immediately with cool running water for at least 20 minutes. This helps to dissipate heat and stop the burning process. Do not use ice as it can further damage the tissue. Seek medical attention immediately. Lava burns require specialized care due to their severity and the potential for complications. Section 8. The Long Road Ahead, Healing and Scars Healing from a lava burn is a long and complex process. The body's natural healing mechanisms work to repair damaged tissue, but the extent of the burn will determine the outcome. Minor burns may heal with minimal scarring while severe burns can lead to significant scarring and disfigurement. Scar tissue, while strong, is not as flexible or elastic as healthy skin. This can lead to restricted movement and joint stiffness, especially if the burn covers a large area or crosses a joint. Rehabilitation may involve physical therapy to improve range of motion, occupational therapy to regain lost function, and psychological counseling to cope with the emotional and psychological impact of the burn. Section 9. Beyond the Burn. Potential, Long-Term Complications. The immediate damage from a lava burn is only part of the story. Severe burns can have long-term consequences for various bodily systems. Infection is a major concern, as burns create an open wound that is vulnerable to bacteria and other pathogens. Respiratory problems can arise if the lava burn occurred near the face or if you inhaled hot gases or smoke. The heat can damage delicate lung tissue, leading to breathing difficulties. In some cases, severe burns can lead to chronic pain even after the initial injury has healed. This can be due to nerve damage or changes in the way the nervous system processes pain signals. Section 10. Respecting the Elements, a Lesson in Caution While the scenario of two drops of lava landing on your skin is unlikely, it serves as a stark reminder of the power of nature and the importance of respecting the elements. Lava, while mesmerizing, is a force to be reckoned with. Volcanic eruptions are awe-inspiring events but they also pose significant risks to human life. Understanding these risks and heating safety guidelines is crucial for anyone living near active volcanoes or visiting volcanic regions. The Earth is a dynamic and ever-changing planet. By respecting its power and learning to coexist with its forces, we ensure our own safety and preserve the wonders of the natural world. Section 11. The Universe Within, Our Bodies, A Marvel of Complexity This hypothetical exploration of a lava burn also highlights the intricate and remarkable nature of our own bodies. When we think about the intense heat of lava, it's astonishing to realize how our skin and tissues react to such extreme conditions. From the rapid-fire signaling of our nervous system, which sends messages at lightning speed to protect us from harm, 
to the complex healing mechanisms that repair damaged tissues, our bodies are constantly working to maintain balance and health. Our bodies are a testament to the wonders of evolution, showcasing a diversity that allows us to adapt and thrive in various environments. Every cell, every organ, and every tiny component within us has a specific role working in harmony to keep us alive and functioning. Every system, from our circulatory system pumping blood to our muscles enabling movement, works in concert to ensure our survival. Understanding how our bodies respond to extreme stimuli like heat and chemical burns gives us a deeper appreciation for the delicate balance of life. It's a reminder of how resilient yet fragile we are. As we explore the vastness of space and unravel the mysteries of the universe, we often look outward, seeking answers among the stars. But let us not forget the universe within each of us, a universe just as awe-inspiring and worthy of our curiosity. The intricate dance of cells, the symphony of organs, and the marvel of our biological systems are a testament to the incredible complexity and beauty of life itself.